and I'll come back home. Cool. I know say it don't take small why I drop video and that are because I don't they do paid mentorship programs with some of them. So if you're not they interested in the mentorship program, we are going to teach you now one on one. Then just follow the link for the description and then we go take them from there. So but meanwhile, for today's video, I'll show you how to build this profile web page with Bootstrap and JavaScript. I hope say so you're not going to enjoy this kind of video because this profile website it makes sense where we we get many things we will feel learned for this portfolio website. This is a even get secure form. We say it gets your own recapture. And then I can't drop one nice animation. We will say if we add any animation. So I go teach you now and I feel they put correct SVG animation on top of your web pages. So if you check them, you can see a fully responsive website. If you check them for mobile phone, is still fresh if you check on for tablet is still fresh check the menu you click on you can see the menu don't they collapse now if you say make we expand them again like i close this one if you say you want to download the resume if you even download your resume for here this is not just a pdf we say anybody if you click on and download your own resume make we test the form make i show that as the form they even take work so i could just put my name for here so then I go put my email for here. Then I go put my phone number for here. And then make I just drop one small note for here. We'll say we go take test, say everything done they work correct, correct for us. And because in a secure form, you go need to click this I am not a robot. So once you don't validate finish, you can click this send message. It go come redirect you come this thank you page and if you click even this link for here we'll say go carry you go back into the website and by the way this site i go show now how we feel deploy them online so that we feel they work with this site so we say make we check the back end now our form name be this now the time where the form just show be this so make we open them you go see say now the message where the form they give us for here so anybody if you send you a message online are you going to see this message for this back end for here so if you now enjoy all this kind of video no one no forget to just take one seconds one seconds pause the video just like and um, subscribe if you never subscribe already make we start to the code for here soon now make we build the header for here so before we start to do anything bootstrap I would like to make Una download this extension, Bootstrap IntelliSense. It could help us, they give us Bootstrap classes so we know go they go to documentation all the time. It just be like doing the IntelliSense, but not for Bootstrap be this one. And Una feel just like support the developer. So back for inside the index.html. So I will just come on this H1, put our header for here. For inside the header, make we put a nav element for here. And I could just give them a class of nav bar. It is say we get all these bootstrap classes for here. And the second class now nav bar dash expand dash lg. And then we could just give them a background color of bg warning. This could give us that yellow background for the header. Now make we just add a class of container inside the header. For inside this container, make we add our logo. Now this our logo, we could just use an image and this image, make sure make sure say we got the GitHub repo to get the logo of what we're gonna need. I could just drag the image as an SVG, put them inside this our IMG folder for here. So now once I drop them, now logo.svg now I'll call them for here. Next, make we just give them an alt so that we go fit no say now logo be this even if we don't get the image anymore and i could just leave this class for now empty but on top of them i go create an anchor tag we could get a class of navbar dash brand and we could just add slash so that if the link could carry us go back to the home page then we could put the image inside the anchor tag so we get an image where we click on top make we preview them Make we see say it work for inside the browser. You can see say we don't get our logo correct. Nice one for you. So we can go back into our VS Code. 
people say we don't get the collapse button again. So make we add the toggler or collapse button so that we feel the toggle for mobile phone. So I can just add a comment for here. Make we create a button and this button will give them a class of navbar toggler. And now make we even give them a type of button so that the browser are gonna say this is button alone. And then make we also add a span for inside the BTN, inside this our button, we go give them a class of navbar dash toggler dash icon. So you're gonna show those three lines we will really see for the button. Now we go go back into the button elements and we go add some data attributes. So the first data attribute we will go add now data dash bs dash toggle, and then we could just set them to collapse, and then we go give the second data attribute for bootstrap data dash bs dash target. Now we go the user to the target the menu or links where we want the hide or we want the show. So, like the ones we go there for here, we go to use and they hide them, they show them. Now, make we add a div, and this div we go give them a class of collapse, and then we go set a navbar dash collapse for the class for here. And then we go just give them an ID. Now, this ID, they're very important. Just make sure say not the same target, not the same data dash bs dash target name where you give them. So that I go to target them, go to select them. Okay, I just drop text to test say this our toggler the work. So if you come inside the browser, you can see say it don't they work, our hello world don't they show. So we could go back into VS Code, make we come out this H1 for here, and then we could just replace the H1 with a UL element. And this UL element we will come give them a class of navbar dash nav. As we don't give them this class of navbar dash nav, make we give them another class of ms auto text dash uppercase, and then we want the font width make it a bold so fw bold, and then we also want make the team make gap day in between each of the links. So we we'll go set the gap for large screen to four, so that we we'll get space in between each link. Now make we add the links for the bottom for inside this AUL element. We will just add a li with a class of nav dash item, and then it will get a child like a link of the child. So we will use the angle bracket to create that child, and then we will just set the link to make it get a class of nav dash links. Now we won't come make them happen three times. So we will say for after the li times three. That will give us three LIs with anchor links inside them. So I can just select everything for here, and then we will just put all of them hash 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 so that the links not going to go anywhere. We will just put some text for here so that we go fit. They show something for the screen. And now each item you go see say is supposed to be inside our UL element. So we could go back into the browser, we could preview them. And you see, say everything don't make sense for here. So nice one. Make I open them. Make make them bigger. You see, I'm for tablet. I'm for big screen. It still makes sense. Now, so for the next part of this project, we will start to build the hero section. So I hope say I will see you now for the next video.